Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to build a Pydono chart in R. In a Pydono chart, the response is the frequency of observations that are classified into the categories of two explanatory variables. So let's start. We are going to use the Titanic data that is available in the R datasets library. It presents the data on the survivals of passengers of the Titanic, and we are going to classify it by class. Before starting the plot, let's load the necessary packages. We are going to use the Web R package to build the Python chart. This package runs into the ggplot package, and we will also need the dplyr package for creating a table with the summarized data for the plot. The next step is to load the dataset. The dataset presents the information of the passengers, classifying them by the class, first, second, third, or crew, sex, male or female, age, child or adult, and the data of survived, yes or no, with the frequency of observations. We are going to plot the information on survived, yes or no, according to the class. So the first step is to build the table with the data. The code creates the table PD with the frequency of survival by class. Now we have a table with the summarized data, first class survived, no or yes, second, third, and crew survived no or yes, and the number of observations. The PyDonut chart will be built using the function PyDonut from the WebR package. The arguments are the dataset PD, the one that we have just created, and in the aesthetics we have the two categorical variables, class and survived, and the response is the count. I have also added a title. And here we have our Python chart. The chart shows that 14.8% of the passengers were in the first class, from which 62.5% of them survived. In contrast, 40.2% of the passengers aboard were crew, and among them, only 24% survived. Similar readings can be done for the second and the third classes. In this chart, the percentages of people who survived are presented in relation to the class. Another way to show the data is with the proportions of survived regarding the total number of passengers. We can do it by adding the argument ratio by group equal false. Now we can see that the number of passengers from the first class that have survived corresponds to 9.22% of the total number of passengers aboard. Another way of looking to the data is to change the pie and donut categories. In the next chart, the survival data will be presented in the internal pie and the class in the donut. And I will comment the ratio by group equal false. The chart now shows that 68% of the passengers of the Titanic did not survive, from which 45.2% were from the crew. It is also possible to explode one or more categories in the chart. Let's explode the survived equal yes. The number 2 means the second category of the variable survived. And it is also possible to explode the donut part of the chart. Finally, let's see how to control the radius of the pie and the donut with the arguments R0, R1, and R2. R0 is the radius of the internal hole with a default value of 0 0.3. 
R1 is the radius of the internal pi, 1. And R2 is the radius of the external donut, 1.2. Let's start by making R0 equal 0. Now, we do not have the hole in the middle of the pi anymore. Let's now make R0 equal to 0.45 and R1 equal to 0 0.9. And here we have our final pi donut chart with a customized inner hole, pi, and donut width. You can find the link for the R code used in this tutorial in the description of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel and I know what kind of content you like. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.